So I'm here with Tom from Simple Solar. I'm standing up here on the roof and I'm standing right beside the solar array frame uh, and you'll notice that there's no tubes in it yet. Uh, and I'm just going to ask Tom a couple questions about uh, you know solar in Alberta really. Um, so Tom, what's the difference between, I mean this is a, an evacuated tube collector, what's the difference between an evacuated tube collector and a flat panel collector? So the evacuated tube collectors aren't sensitive to cold ambient outside air, right. which we have a lot of in Alberta. And the way they work, tubes right here, it's a double glass walled cylinder and the special black coating is on the inside that attracts the sun's heat. Yeah. And then all that heat is transacted from the inside through, there's a copper pipe goes all the way through and it gets focused on the on the tip here. So you okay. can feel this is actually warm. It's not hot. It's been sitting out oh, here yeah. for a minute and it's not really bright, bright yeah. sun right now, but you can see it's actually picking up a little bit of, uh, of energy just doing that. So these things, it doesn't really matter what the temperature is outside, whether it's minus 25 or plus 25, huh. it all just depends on the sunlight, the intensity of sun that, that hits this uh, glass cylinder. Right. So and as you can see, we mounted the frame up quite steep. So, you know, in the winter time, it's, it's facing south, and we're in the summertime now, so the sun wasn't so cloudy, the sun would be up here somewhere, right. which isn't ideal, but in the winter time, the sun's way down 15 degrees off the horizon, and uh, that's when we'll get really good wintertime energy as well. Mm -hmm. So with this angle, you will get pretty much the same amount of solar energy year round. Just a little bit less in December and January, but, uh, but um, the rest of the year, you'll get just as much. So we'll actually get more solar energy in uh, March and April and September, October, than we'll get right now in June. Wow. So these evacuated tube collectors are they, they seem to be more efficient maybe than the flat panel collectors. Would you say that that's a, a true statement? In our, in our climate, yeah. yeah. Flat panel collectors work great because uh, they're basically a rectangular box with a sheet of glass on the front and a copper pipe goes back and forth. The box gets hot because the sun's shining on it and the copper pipe picks up the heat. Right. But if it's 20 below outside, it really doesn't get very warm inside that box. Yeah, for sure. So um, what's the solar resource like in Alberta compared to other parts of the country? Yeah, we're, uh, we're really, really strong. Just a little bit south of Calgary is, uh, is the highest in Canada. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, industry is led in Germany. Uh, we have about 50% more solar energy per year than, than Germany. Totally. And everybody knows how far Germany's going with it. So we've got a real competitive advantage when it comes to uh, yeah, when no it kidding. comes to solar resource. So there should be one of these panels on every roof in Calgary. There definitely should be. Yeah. Yeah. And so what percentage of our hot water do you think uh, are from for a typical household can you supply uh, with one of these systems? Yeah, so each bank of 30 tubes will provide enough hot water for each two people in the household. Okay. Uh, and that's based on the average Canadian's usage of hot water. Right. And I know you guys are a little, uh, a little more resource uh, frugal than, than the average. So oh. I, I know that you'll be using less hot water than, uh, than most families. Okay. Um, so I suspect this will, this will provide all of your, all of your hot water. Wow. Um, the only time it won't will be if uh, you use a whole lot in yep. one day because yep. as you know we provided an 80 gallon tank which right. is probably going to be two to three days use for you guys uh -huh. uh, so if we don't have any sun for three days then you'll need your backup or if you haven't used any for five days and then you know you do all the cleaning and all the laundry and long showers and everything all at once well then you'll exhaust that 80 gallon tank so one thing that uh, is quite different with your system here is, is there's a photovoltaic panel up here and so photovoltaic is, is uh, for producing electricity. What is the main function of this photovoltaic panel on this hot water collector? Yeah, so our system is an off-grid system. Okay. We don't use any, any uh, grid powered electricity. So we have a small photovoltaic panel here which is all you actually need yeah. to make the glycol fluid flow um, and transfer the heat. So as you remember, we have the glycol solar loop from the tank up yeah. to here. These are, yeah. the, these are the pipes here. Yeah. It'll come up through here and pick up the heat, take it back down to that tank, right. and transfer the heat into the tank. So when the sun's shining and it's making heat then on the tubes, 
it will be making electricity on the photovoltaic panel. At a proportional amount. At a proportional amount. Right. And then that electricity will drive the circulating pump to move the glycol right. to take this heat off the tubes and down to the tank. And the brighter the sun shines, uh, the faster the pump's going to run because it's a variable speed DC pump. So that's uh, that's a big Super piece slick. of our feature. Yeah, 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 yeah. It works very, very well. Yeah. And then we've got this device kind of in the back here, uh, and, and this is to, if there's too much heat, um, this is where you dump it, right? Yes, that's right. We we just dump it back to the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, you know, other solutions are um, um, different piping systems in the ground and all that sort of stuff. We just taken the approach to keep things simple because that's our company name, simple solar yeah, yeah. heating. If you don't need the heat now, then you don't you don't get it. So, yeah. but before we start dumping this heat, you're going to be at about 180, 190 degrees Fahrenheit hot water in that whole 80 gallon tank, right. which is you know, four or five days usage. So we've got that whole tank heated up really, really hot before we start dumping heat. Holy. So it's likely to happen if you go away for two weeks in the summertime, you yeah. know, or even an extra long weekend if it's bright and sunny or something like that. That's about the only time you're going to be dumping heat. Huh. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for sharing all that information with us. You're very welcome. I'm really excited to see how this thing performs. We're going to be uh, putting the, Tom, I think, is going to be putting the tubes in here a little bit later today. And we'll be firing the system up, and we should have hot water within a day or two, uh, depending on, obviously, what the weather does. Um, but, you know, it is cloudy right now. And I guess the last question that I might leave with is, how do these things perform when it's cloudy outside, when you've got diffuse radiation? Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's not going to be... Uh as good a day today as if there wasn't a cloud in the sky, yeah. but there would certainly have been a significant amount of solar energy collected this morning when the sun was totally. the sun was really bright. Yeah. Uh, it would still be running right now. Uh, under full full sunlight, we'll probably be running about a gallon a minute, a gallon yeah. and a half a minute, yeah. or four to six liters in that range. Yeah. Right now, with, uh, if we had everything set up, it's probably going to be running about two liters a minute. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks so much, Tom. All right.